In 2005, Richard Steigman Gall's book, The Spear of Destiny, shed new light on the legendary Spear of Destiny, casting reasonable doubt on its authenticity. Today's episode is dedicated to this intriguing topic. Watch this video until the end to discover incredible details about the history of the Spear of Destiny and its owners. Learn how many artifacts around the world claim to be the genuine Spear and whether any of them are truly worthy of that status. Also, delve into the fateful role the Spear of Destiny played in Adolf Hitler's life and death. So subscribe to the channel and let's get started. This news, copyright. We'll be broken up in the open field. <laughs> It was wielded by Roman Emperor Constantine the Great, King of the Goths Theodoric I, leader of the Visigoths Alaric, Byzantine Emperor Justinian, King of the Franks Charlemagne, Louis Saint Napoleon and Hitler. According to legend, Charlemagne wielding the spear fought 47 battles and won all of them. Adolf Hitler's rule brought about a resurgence of occult practice and one of the myths was connected to the Holy Lance in Vienna. According to the occultists, it was called the Spear of Destiny, and whoever possessed it was destined to rule the world. The Holy Lance, also known as the Lance of Longinus, the Spear of Destiny or the Holy Spear, is believed to have pierced the side of Jesus during his crucifixion. The Spear of Destiny is the most coveted artifact for any tyrant. It promises world domination, won battles and invincibility. What does the Spear of Destiny represent? Where did its trail end? And where is the authentic spear that ended the life of the Savior? So, let's go over some facts you probably didn't know. The Way of Longinus In the apocryphal Gospel of Nicodemus, written in the 6th century, the Roman legionnaire Longinus is mentioned under the name of Gaius Cassius. His name also appears in the works of the Greek patriarch Germanus. In both sources, he is incorrectly referred to as Longinus, the Latinized form of the Greek word logchi, meaning spear. Later, this word was appended to his genuine name, resulting in Gaius Cassius Longinus. By the order of the procurator of Judea, Pontius Pilate, he spent two years watching over Jesus Christ. A hereditary soldier who turned involuntary witness inherited the spear. According to the Gospel of Nicodemus, his grandfather received the weapon from the hands of Julius Caesar for bravery shown during the Gallic Wars. Even then, the spear was considered miraculous, as over the years it had not dulled or rusted, and its owner had never been wounded in numerous battles. However, at that time it was merely a family relic. After the death of Jesus, according to one tradition, Gaius retired and joined the followers of Christ. Gaius incurred the wrath of the authorities by preaching, and despite torture, he did not renounce the teachings of Jesus, for which he was subjected to new, cruel torments. But the martyr retained the ability to speak and shattered pagan idols with his spear in front of the astonished Roman governor. Anglican priest Sabine Baring Gould, in the preface to his 16-volume Lives of the Saints, recounted the numerous versions of where the relics of Saint Longinus rest, indicating that we may never know the exact location of his burial. Not mentioned in the Bible. The Holy Lance is not explicitly mentioned in the canonical Gospels, although some apocryphal texts like the Gospel of Nicodemus do mention it. This has led some scholars to believe it is a later invention, while others believe it may have been based on an oral tradition. The lance was first mentioned in historical sources in 570 AD by Antoninus of Piacenza, who described it as a holy relic in the basilica at Mount Zion. Incredible power. Throughout history, the holy lance has been seen as a powerful symbol, often associated with victory and legitimacy. Holy Roman emperors would be crowned with the Lance of Vienna, and it was even carried into battle by some leaders. The Holy Lance has been attributed with various miraculous powers, such as healing the sick and bringing good fortune. This has added to its mystique and significance for many believers. A Mysterious Disappearance After the harrowing events at Golgotha, the spear vanished from sight for over 300 years. It reappeared in the early 4th century under the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great. 
According to legend, it helped him defeat the forces of Maxentius in the Battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312 AD and become the undisputed ruler of the Roman Empire. It was during this period that the artifact came to be known as the Spear of Destiny, and fantastical properties were attributed to it, granting its possessor unlimited power. A few spears? There are actually several relics claiming to be the Holy Lance scattered across Europe and the Middle East. The most famous ones include the Spear of Longinus in Vienna, the Holy Lance in Krakow, and the Lance of Antioch. This has led to much debate and controversy about the authenticity of each relic. Let's get acquainted with the main contenders for the title of the authentic Spear of Destiny, Hitler's Shadow. A dark trace in the history of the owners of the sacred relic was left by the leader of the Third Reich, Adolf Hitler. The future Führer glimpsed the artifact in his childhood. According to eyewitnesses, he was mesmerized by the sight of the relic and visited the repository where it was displayed on numerous occasions. Hitler obsessed over the Holy Lance, believing it would grant him power. It is known that after the annexation of Austria in March 1938, Hitler visited the Hofburg Palace, where the spear was kept, and examined it at length in complete solitude. Some demonologists claim that Hitler handed his soul to the devil in the Hofburg Museum in exchange for a promise that he would gain power over the world. Seven months later, the relic was transported to Nuremberg to the Church of St. Catherine. By the way, did you know that according to the official version, Hitler committed suicide on April 30th, 1945, was the very day when the Spear of Destiny was captured by the advancing Allied forces in Nuremberg? What this strange coincidence meant remains a mystery. The Vienna Lance. It is currently housed in Austria in the treasury of the Hofburg Palace. The tip, without the shaft about half a meter long, once cracked and split into two parts, which were wrapped with silver wire and joined with gold overlays. The golden sleeve contains the words in Latin, Lancea et clavus domini, the lance and nail of the Lord. Beneath the sleeve overlay is a silver band containing an inscription in Latin. By the grace of God, Henry IV, the great Roman Emperor Augustus, ordered this silver band to be made to bind the nail of the Lord and the lance of St. Maurice. Attached to the tip is a forged nail. In 2003, authorities in Austria granted a British metallurgist, Robert Feather, permission to conduct scientific tests on the lance. The tests determined that the spear in Vienna was made in the 7th century AD, many centuries after the crucifixion. The Armenian Spear. It is a metallic tip without a shaft, preserved in a special silver casing. Since the 12th century to the present day, it has been carefully safeguarded in Armenia, in the treasury of Etchmiadzin. The new name is Vagashapat. Before that, it was kept in the Geghard Monastery, Armenia, where, according to tradition, it was brought by Apostle Thaddeus in the year 34 AD. It was he who spread Christianity in Armenia. The shape of the Armenian spear precludes its use as intended. It is more akin to the tip of a flagstaff, which according to scholars almost rules out the chances of it being the authentic spear of Longinus. However, on the other hand, in terms of its size and shape, the spearhead perfectly matches the imprint left on the Shroud of Turin, where a diamond-shaped wound is clearly visible. The Vatican Spear. Currently, it is housed in Rome in the Basilica of St. Peter's in the Vatican. It was gifted to Pope Innocent VIII by Sultan Bayezid II in 1492 in exchange for diplomatic support from Turkey. For a long time, it was believed to be the true Spear of Destiny. However, modern research has shown that it was crafted in the 13th century and cannot be the Spear of Longinus. The Holy Lance continues to be a significant religious relic for many Christians, and it is still displayed and venerated in some churches. The debate about its authenticity and history is likely to continue for many years to come. The Holy Lance remains an enigmatic and fascinating relic, shrouded in mystery and legend. Its true origins and significance may never be fully known, but it continues to capture the imagination of people around the world. While the true nature of the artifact remains shrouded in mystery, one thing is certain. Its influence on the course of history continues to fascinate and intrigue. That's all the facts for today. 
We'll get back to you in a couple days with a new dizzying investigation. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to always be aware of the most mysterious and amazing events of civilization.